This tutorial focuses on mobile apps and here we're going to have a look at a um, little bit of background of mobile apps and then how you create one and maybe different platforms for um, just plug and play mobile app development. So um, we're going to start off by quickly having a, um, a look at just the background to mobile apps and um, this is our last section and um, one of the areas in here worth looking at are mobile apps. There are other things such as QR codes and different things like that as well, which are really worth looking at as well. So uh, with regards to mobile apps and uh, downloads worldwide, the, the number of downloads uh, have really um, risen in the last number of years. And, um, you know, we can't deny the, the use and the popularity of, of apps. So um, we can see as well that the vast majority of the downloaded apps are, are actually paid apps. On top of that, the different platforms that they come from, Google Play Store um, is, you know, um, about, you know, about a quarter more than anybody else. But you can see here the App Store, uh, then the, the Windows Store and the Amazon Store, the BlackBerry right down along the line there. So there's huge, huge growth and uh, but you're still looking at the, you know, the Play Store and uh, um, the App Store, okay? Two main ones there. So again, worldwide app downloads by store, and you can see here that at the moment here in 2018, um, that the Google, the Play Store is, is far outselling the App Store, but uh, that's not uh, unexpected, considering that the number of um, devices are way, way more as well. Um, so if we look at the specific mobile apps by their domain and by their use, uh, you can see here that games are 43%. Again, that's not unexpected considering what we, we see uh, people doing with, uh, with these types of things. Social networking apps, again, quite high there at a quarter, just over a quarter. Then you see entertainment, uh, news right down to lifestyle and health and fitness and so on. So when you think about, like some of us have maybe one or two health and fitness uh, apps on our, on our phone, but we have quite a few social media apps. Um, on average, the average number of um, apps that a person has on, on, their, on their phone are 66, as it turns out. So um, like if we turned around and said, how many of these do we actually use on a daily basis? We're probably breaking it down to well under 10. So, um, You've got to think about what people are doing and how often they're using them. And, you know, all of these apps will have metrics built into them, analytics built into them to be able to see exactly when and how um, and what people are doing with our particular app. So we'll be able to maybe, um, you know, uh, prioritize and optimize what we actually do and how we can do this. OK, with regards to travel apps. What they're saying here, the average reinstall rate one month after uninstalling the app is 57%. So what we see with a lot of travel apps is that people use them, uh, maybe not all the time, but on occasion, and then they use them a lot around when they need to travel, and then they may um, drop down again and be, re you know, may even uninstall it and reinstall it later on, okay? So again, if we look at the top, 10 mobile apps by penetration of app audience. We can see here that Facebook is on top, YouTube is second, Facebook Messenger, Google searches maps and write down, you know, Gmails and so on. So, you know, again, none of these are really unexpected there. So creating a mobile app. Now, there are lots of platforms out there for creating mobile apps. Um, Unfortunately, most of these are paid platforms. So, you know, what we're going to do is we're going to choose a platform that is, is a free platform. Some, some of these will allow you access for, um, you know, for two weeks and so on to see how you can use it and what you do with it. Some, you know, will give you a month free access, but some of them you will need to put in your credit card details in order to access your free months access. Um, um, uh, availability we should say um one that you know that strikes me as, as being outstanding in this area is one called appy pie um, and appy pie has you know on occasion gone from being a free um 
platform to being a paid platform to being a you know uh one where you have accessibility for a little bit of time and so on but you know it's it's well worth looking at um and the app market as well is a very very good uh very good platform but both of those are at the moment you pay for them okay so the one we're going to actually look at here is one called buildfire.com which is free now it's quite similar to wix in the way it works except it's setting up an app for you okay and this one here allows you uh free usage for 14 days but it allows us to be able to see how you know the process involved in doing this and so on so what we're going to do is we're going to i'm going to just go through a few slides here um on the PowerPoint and then what I'm going to do is I'll do it for real in the app itself okay so once you go in there there's three options okay there's the um the resellers there's the white glove option then there's a, the build it yourself um DIY option which is the one we're going to go for from there a bit like Wix it gives us a number of different templates and again I wouldn't really worry about the actual purpose of your app here because we can change all of these I, I'd, I'd be more you know inclined to look at the design the layout navigational structure of these apps and then choose the one that, that suits our needs the best okay um it asks you to fill out a little form with your details on it and um and then from there it'll ask us about the purpose of our app and then from there we're actually into our app and we can start we can start you know adding content and detail to it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how simple this is to create and to use um, I'm not going to spend the whole time creating the app, but I, I you know, I'm going to do what all the, all the best chefs do. And here's one we prepared earlier. So I'm going to jump out for the moment and jump into, um, Chrome and go into build a fire. Okay. So in here, I'm going to go in here and get started. And as I said, into the DIY option. As you can see here, I have uh, I've a lot of options I can use down along here as to which, you know, which way to go, and what to do. And there's lots of different ones. So, for instance, if I was going to create one, you know, for a barber shop or for, you know, for an outlet, I might use something like that. Um, I'm actually going to take this one here, which is the yoga one, actually. OK. Okay, so this is the one I'm going to take and I'm going to go start with this template. And it's going to ask me for an app now. I'm going to go walk with me Wicklow. Select the industry. I'm going to say travel. I'm going to put in my name here, website. address Copy and paste that and in here and okay here here and off we go now Again, the purpose, you know, you've got your social networks right down to other, which is anything goes really just mess around, messing around and testing. If you know it's information and content or if you're trying to sell. So again, this is looking at the purpose of what you're trying to do, whether it's going to be um, brand awareness, whether it's going to be sales, whether it's going to be customer loyalty, whether it's going to be logins, whatever you're going. To. I'm just going to go for the moment, just messing around here. OK, and then just go finish. Now, I'm going to just grab this and so I can see it on the screen properly. Okay, now on our way in here, we've got um, design. And you can see branding here. So the first thing you can look at is what kind of branding do you want to deal with here? And 
you can look at your color schemes and you can look at your teams and your and your your actual um load screens with your background screens and so on okay you can then look at your side menu which pops out from the side this is it down along here and the level of alignment the color that you're going to use and so on okay so all of these things are you know whether you're going to be using an icon or not and um, whether you're going to play around with the icons and so on navigation bar now that's at the bottom here whether you want to use it i don't have it turned on at the moment uh, login and then intro slide so add media is the next one okay now what i'm going to do is i've i'm going to just go in here and i'm going to add some media to this i'm going to add them all in the one go these are this is a folder that I have actually set up for this. And I'm going to just take a lot of these here and just throw them all in at the one go, okay? So I'm going to just drop them all in there and you can see my media being added to this and so on, okay? So these are all the, the different um, images, logos, etc. that I'm going to use throughout my, um, my app, okay? And I've prepared these, I've taught these things out, okay? So, I'm adding them to them there and you can see them all being added to them and so on. So that means it's kind of like uh, my kind of archive of all the, the images that I want to use. Of course, I can add more, but this is just for the moment. OK, um, my home screen. What does my home screen look like at the moment? It looks like this. OK, and you got to say, well, do I want it to look like that eventually? Probably not. OK, so. What you got to say to yourself is, what do you want to put in here? What do you want to use? And so on. So, you know, in the case of, of these here, do you want all of those appearing and so on? So I'm just going to get rid of the logo from up there on top. Um, I'm going to look at the design here. And this will show me the layout that I can have. So I could have something like this, OK? Or I could have something like this. Now, that, they're quite useful and very visible and very nice to see. Obviously, the image that they're using in the background, I'm going to use something slightly different. Um, I'm going to use different menu items. I can change those. I can change the font size. I can change the separators. You know, I can even turn around here and say the background image that they're using, I'm going to say, well, that's obviously not suitable for what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to use something along the lines of, of this here. So I'm just going to add that and then insert it. And it puts that in as my background image in here. OK, um, now that's far more suitable for what I'm trying to do. OK, so you might turn around and say, no, that's not the color scheme I want to use. Or I, I actually do want to use something quite dark here. So um, I'm going to use something like that. You can see it being pixelated. So, you know, maybe that's not the right image for me, but I can turn around and play around with these images and say, right, the one I want to use is this one. OK, so I'm going to insert that and see how that one looks. OK, and again, it's a difficult one to deal with because it, it has both light and dark there. So I can play around with this until I find something that's best suited to my need here and, and then see exactly how it fits in. OK, so um, I'm going to go back to this one down here, which was the, the actual gray one that I had there in the first place. I'm going to say, yeah, I'm happy enough with that. OK, so again, it's got that nice little thing about it and uh, we can we can deal with that as we're going through it. OK, so. Um, so I can play around with these different views and say, no, I'm, I'm more interested in, in, in this view here. Um, and you can see how simple and clean that is in comparison to the other one and more visible it is. But there's lots of different ones I can play around with. OK, so um, you can see some of these are these are using icons. So um, I, I can play around with these any way I want to. So for the moment, I'm just going to drop it back to this one here. Say I'm going to be happy enough with that one for the moment. I can, of course, come back and change this, and I will do, do so as we as we move down through it. Uh, if I add an image, it'll go up here on top. And the image I'm going to add is I'm going to add my uh, sorry. I already have it in my my media, so I'm going to add. This one down here will walk with me on it, OK, so I'm just going to add that. And I'm going to go back to design and you can see here this one when I put this one in here, it'll it'll use that there like that. OK, so walk with me on top. I can add some text in here if I want to as well. So my text. is something like this. Here's one we prepared earlier, so to speak. OK. 
and you can see it appear like that. Now, of course, I'm going to turn around and change that to a darker text like that. Then you got your, your features down here below this, okay? Now, I don't want this many pages, and you'll see exactly what I do with this in a minute, but uh, um, if I go design here for a second, branding, and you can see this one here, I'm going to change my logo here to being my Walk With Me logo here. And then change this one here to being exactly the same one as I was using before. So we're starting to, to create a, a theme for ourselves um, and play around with these kinds of things. Okay, your font type, your text color, body text color, I'm gonna go with something darker. Okay, now this has an effect on my home screen. When I look at this, my text is coming out like this, but so is my text down here, as you can see, okay? So I've gotta play around with those as well and start thinking about those uh, items and see what I'm going to do with those and maybe play around with the color so I can I can see them a little bit better Okay, um, as well as that I've got spaces in here that I don't particularly want okay. So you're playing around with space like that as well So again, I can keep going back to my design and playing around with this until I, I find something that, that best suits my needs Okay, so I'm just going to take that for a second and leave it there for 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 a second as we go through it. Now, I'm going to start looking at my features next. So my home screen, I'm going to, you know, I've looked at that a little bit, and now I'm going to go back to my, my features. Now, my features are the different areas of my site. So in, in the case of mine here, I have already laid this out here, and I'm going to have the home page, photos, themes, my, or the theme, uh, contact us, video, and about. So there's, in total, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six pages, okay? So I'm going back in here and I say photos, yes, instructors. Yeah, I'm gonna change the name to team there. Videos, yeah, home, yeah, about, yeah, classes, no. So I'm gonna get rid of that, delete. I don't have an enrollment, I don't want that. And I don't have a commerce section. Oh, I'm just bringing down my my uh, my menu. So I I'm going to have photos. Fine. Yeah. Now at any stage, you know, if you want to, you can. You'll see in a minute how you can change the the order of these and so on. But photos. I'm going to turn. I'm going to photos for a second. All right. Now it's a, it's a simple case of of looking at this. It's got three images, all having to do with obviously with yoga, etc. So I'm going to take out the yoga images and I'm going to add some of my own images. Okay. Now, my own images here, I'm going to add other ones that I haven't actually got in there. I'm going to add these ones here. I've got this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I'm going to add these, and you can see them being added. Um, it's, please wait, but they're being added successfully, okay? And you see them get thrown in there like that, and that's fine. Okay, so I'm now going to select all six of these and I'm going to go insert in here. And now I've got my own images in there as well. Okay, so that's my image page. I can call it photographs or images, whatever I want to. I can change the icon if I want to. So I'm going to change the icon here to the image icon like this. So in that case there, I'm going to say I'm happy enough with my images. Like I've turned around here and the planning I've got, I've got three images, images, um, photographs, images, seven days. Right, fine. Okay, lovely. So the next one down, I'm going to have a look at instructors. Now in instructors, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to the team. And what I'm also going to do is, again, I've prepared a little bit of text for this. So my instructors are the team. I'm going to put an image on top. I've got a little bit of text. And then I've got um, I've got three in my team, Mike Pale, Alex Khan, and John Riley. Okay. So they're going to be my, my, my team members. So 
what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get rid of this image here. I'm going to add my own image. Insert that in there. And you can see on the right hand side, everything I do, it'll change it in there to suit the needs. Um, I'm going to jump in here and just take my team, meet the team, okay. Let's make it a little bit more personal. Meet our team. Okay, and you can see it appearing here like this, okay? Um, then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say, at the moment I've got three members. Of course I can add more if I want to. I can order them any way I want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Yumi and I'm going to say, I'm getting rid of you me here and I'm going to add a picture of Mike. Now Mike is a, an unruly looking dude. That's not Mike, that's John. He's even more unruly. But anyway, um, no, I haven't got, I'm going to add a picture of Mike here. I thought I had all this prepared, but anyway, here we are, Mike Pale. Okay, so Mike is going in here and you'll see Mike appear here in a second whenever it gets around to loading him. And there's Mike. Uh, just insert him in here I change the name to Mike Pale and what is he he's the head guide and Mike at walkwithme.com okay. so that's Mike you can say something about Mike if you want to. I'm going to say Mike is great. We're all very happy with him, okay? So that's Mike done. I'm going to go back one step to my features and back into the team. And I'm going to add the next member of my team. And again, the next member of my team, if I just look at my uh, preparations here, it's Alex Can. She's the root manager. And her email is that, okay? So I'm going to come down here. Instead of Mike, I'm going to go into the next one here. Alex and group manager and Alex at walkwithme.com. Okay, change Alex's picture. This is all very straightforward. There's Alex there. Come back and On to the next one then. You can see Alex. Alex can. I actually didn't type Alex. I thought Ale can. Alex. And I'm going to change the icon when I'm at this. This is meet the team. Now, and down to the last one here, and this is John. And you can get the idea here. You can add more to it if you want to, obviously. John Riley. Give me a capital J. And John is an explorer. Slash guru. And it's just simply John at walkwithme.com and stick John's picture in here and he looks every bit the explorer and the guru now there's my team that's my team page done I'm very happy with it you know I can move on to the next one so I simply do this for all of them all right and as you can see I'm changing all of these down along here the next one are my videos um I'm going to go in here for a quick second here. I'm going to change my, my icon up here on top and I'm going to put in a, my video icon, which I have in my folder. Um, now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to very simply put in, um, I have a little bit of text in here. So my videos 
are these ones here. A little bit of text. Really want it in bold. And rid of that image, stick in the image that I want here. Okay. And my image linking to my videos, and I can link to any of my channels, or I can link to somebody else's channel if I want to, or I can link to my playlist or whatever. And I go validate here, and you can see that the videos will come in like this. So you can actually play your videos directly from your app. So again, very straightforward, nothing difficult about it. And then on to the next one. And um, I can keep going like this. And the truth of the matter is, you know, it's actually very straightforward. What I do want to show you here, and this is really important, is that at the moment I've got, I've got three of my, my six done. Uh, my homepage looks like this. Okay, and my icon, I've chosen it here, home, home icon here. And I've already done that one there, so I've got, I've got four of the, of the six done, we'll say. And what I just want to show you here is the marketplace. So the marketplace are a number of apps that I can add to my app, if you understand. So a number of little, you know, little bits of functionality that are really, really useful to me. So if I want to search for something and just say I wanted to search for Instagram. And I can see photo galleries and so on. So I can literally add a uh, photogram gallery. So that's a pick your images are coming from Instagram. OK, so there's lots of different. I go into any of these features. There's lots of different options available to you. You can put in forms, you can put in reports, you can do all kinds of things. So what I'm going to do here is just go to, as I said, here's one we prepared earlier. And I'm going to just jump into this app here. And if I look at my preview over here, just give it a second to load up. And I have my app here. OK, and what I've got is, you know, my different items here so I can just simply click on this and go to you know the team all right and as we've seen the team already the team will appear with um the three people that I've put in there already okay so if I want to see who John is what's what's John's the story with John I can go and see John I can email John and whatever okay and um, if I want to look at my videos I can just simply go to my video set sorry that's not my video section my this is my photograph section and you can see how this will appear um and if i want to go to my video section i just jump in here and it your your app can be used as a one-stop shop that brings you to all the needs um and links and integrates all your different channels together the same way your 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 website does so it's a really really straightforward little tool that you know is very simple to create and you're doing it in a very similar way to, as you would be in wix and so on so for the last little bit, I'm just going to jump back into my PowerPoint and just show you in the PowerPoint, I've actually presented all of these as well. Test away and modify and all of these. OK, so you can actually it's all about playing around, seeing what to do. It's very straightforward. And remember, the marketplace is a, a, a hugely important resource to us because we can actually add, you know, you can even see from the screenshot here, you can add, you can add an image gallery, you can add, you know, a, uh, places you can you can add social media you can add all of these different things so again you know it's worth a little play around and i just want to show you how simple it is to create a mobile app um and you know this one is is not the best one out there you know my argument would would always be with uh with something like um appy pie because it's excellent or again app mark are excellent but both of these are 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 paid um but you know with regards to development they're very very simple to use